Hey what's up guys this is Sandeep Sky and in this video I'm going to show you how to dual boot Arch Linux and Windows 10 or 11 using the Arch install script so let's get started so first of all open your web browser and search for Arch Linux now go to downloads from the first official link and after that download the latest version of the Arch Linux ISO from the worldwide and once you have done that go to another tab and search for Rufus now click on the first link and download the latest version of Rufus so we need Rufus to make a bootable USB of Arch Linux and after that insert your pen drive which is at least of 8 GB and please make sure to pick up pen drive data because it will be lost and after that go to your downloads directory and open Rufus now select the Arch Linux ISO file which you just downloaded and for the partition scheme open windows search and search for system information now as you can see my bios mode is uefi so i'm going to choose gpt if you have legacy bios then you need to choose mbr now start the process now this process may take some time so i'm just going to fast forward this part of the video so finally this process is complete now close everything and then right click on your start menu and open disk management now inside disk management click on the local disk C and then right click on it and select shrink volume now you need to allocate at least 40 GB of space for Arch Linux so for the purpose of this video I'm going to allocate about 60 GB of free space which is 60,000 MB and click on shrink Now once this process is complete, close disk management and now it's time to restart the computer and boot from the Arch Linux USB. Now before booting from the Arch Linux USB, we need to first go into our BIOS menu and disable secure boot because Arch Linux won't boot with secure boot enabled. So press the BIOS menu key which is the F2 key in most laptops and after that go into the BIOS menu settings and under security disable the secure boot now press F10 key to save the setup and exit now while your computer is booting press the escape key or F12 key to open the boot selection menu and select the USB option from the list to boot into the Arch Linux ISO So after booting into the ISO, first I'm going to increase the font by typing this command. Set font terse-124n. Now this will make things look a little bigger. Now after that, we need to connect to the internet. If you are using Ethernet, you are good to go. Otherwise, you need to type IWCTL for Wi-Fi. And after that type device list to see the Wi-Fi card name as you can see my Wi-Fi card name is WLAN 0 so I'm going to type station WLAN 0 get dash networks to list the Wi-Fi networks around my area now identify your Wi-Fi name and after that type station WLAN 0 which is my case and type connect and then type your Wi-Fi name in my case it is GLX now type your Wi-Fi password now after that type station your device name in my case it is WLAN 0 and then show and it will show the Wi-Fi connection status now after that type quit to exit IWCTL now first we need to update the database for Arch Linux before installing to avoid any errors so for this you need to type pacman sy and it will just synchronize the package databases now after that we need to install the arch linux gearing so type pacman dash capital s arch linux dash gearing Now we need to install or update the 
uh, arch install script itself so type pacman s arch install so this will update the arch install script to the latest version now type lsblk to see your device dr disk drives so you need to identify the drive where you created free space in my case it is nvme1 and 1 where my in windows is installed and i created free space from local disk c so type cf disk slash dev slash your drive head block number so in my case it is slash slash nvme1 and 1 and here you need to find the free space which we created it in my case it was 60 gb now create a new space which is 1 gb for the efi partition so select that free space and set the type as EFI system now for the remaining free space I'm going to use it as the root partition so I'm just going to leave it in Linux file system so after that choose the option right and type yes and also you need to remember the new file system block numbers as you can see for EFI it is slash tape slash nvme1 and 1p5 for me so select quit now if you type lsblk again you will see the list of those newly created partitions here and with its block number so you need to remember these block numbers so you need to make a fat partition so type mkfs dot fat dash f32 slash dev slash your EFI partition in my case it is slash slash nvme1 and 1p5 and after that you need to create a root partition as ext4 so type mkfs.ext4 space slash dev slash nvme1 p5 p6 in my case so yours may be different so please type according to your partition number and after that we need to mount these partitions so type mount space slash dev slash your root partition block number into slash mnt and after that create a boot partition inside slash mnt so type mkdir slash mnt slash boot and you need to mount your efi partition there so type mount slash dev slash your efi partition block number in my case it is nvme1 and 1p5 and slash mnt slash boot so we have done the hard part for the installation now it is easier so you need to just type arch install to go into the arch install interface so here you need to go into the disk configuration part you need to leave the first options as it is now go to the partitioning and select use pre-mounted configuration now type slash mnt here in the root mount directory which we just created earlier now go back and you will see it is mounted in slash mnt now you need to go into the bootloader part and select grub you can also use systemd but i recommend using grub now you can leave this option at it is and go to authentication and set the root password now choose user account and set your desired user and your password and make sure it is super user sudo now confirm and exit now go back now under profile you need to select desktop as your type and you need to select your favorite desktop environment for the purpose of this video I'm going to choose GNOME and for the graphics driver you need to select according to your system since I have a NVIDIA card I'm going to choose the option which is NVIDIA proprietary if you don't have NVIDIA and you have something else then you need to choose accordingly now you can leave the greeter at as it is and go back now you can leave the other options as it is and go into the network configuration now choose the option which is use network manager 
now you can leave the rest of settings as it is if you don't want to mess with anything and now you need to select the option install and click on it now the arch linux installation script will do its job and this may take a while so i'm going to fast forward this part So finally our Arch Linux installation is complete. Now you can select the third option if you want to configure it further or you can select the second option to reboot your system. Now while your computer is restarting press the BIOS menu key which is usually the F2 key and you need to configure the boot priority option and make sure to set the boot priority for newly installed Arch Linux. So it may look like something like UEFI OS or something else in your system so make sure that the Arch Linux has the boot priority and save and exit the setup now every time you boot your computer you will see a grub menu and at first we may not see the Windows 10 option in the menu so we're going to fix that so first we need to boot into the Arch Linux So we have successfully installed Arch Linux using the Arch install script. Now first connect to your network. So I'm going to connect to my Wi-Fi. Now open terminal. Now install nano if you haven't already. So type sudo pacman s nano and insert your password now type sudo nano slash etc slash default slash grub now scroll down to the file and look for the line which says grub underscore disable underscore os underscore proper is equals to false now uncomment this line by removing the hash symbol in front of it and after that press ctrl plus o to save and ctrl plus x to exit now type this command sudo grub dash mkconfig dash o space slash boot slash grub slash grub dot cfg and this will regenerate the grub config file and if you don't see windows option in here then you need to install the package called os proper so let's do that sudo pacman dash s os dash proper now type sudo space os dash proper this will make the grub look for other operating systems so as you can see it listed windows here so we need to regenerate the grub config file by running rerunning the grub mk command again now as you can see you can see the windows list here so let's reboot the system and check if we can boot into windows or not so let's restart first So as you can see we now have a windows option in here so let's boot into windows. So as you can see we have successfully dual boot windows and Arch Linux using the Arch install. So that's it for the video guys. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this video helpful.